What is an Advantage Plus shopping campaign and how can you leverage this new campaign type to get better results in your Facebook ads? So Advantage Plus shopping has been around for over a year now and a lot has changed since then. And this campaign type has had some successes and it is uh, not you know, the, the overall solution and replacement of ads as we know it, um, like Facebook probably wanted. And it is a great campaign to go about scaling your ads and getting better results once you already have some proven winners and your pixel has a lot of data on it. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what this campaign is capable of in a real life ad example. And then I'm going to show you exactly what the campaign is all about using Meta's explanation. And then I'm going to show you step by step how to go about setting up this campaign. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, my name is Blake Bauer and I'm the co-founder and CEO of a new age advertising agency called Jet Ads. And we help brands jet to better ad results, automating and scaling their paid customer acquisition on Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok ads, and more. Really a overall package solution, making it super easy and simple to get started with an ad agency and growing and scaling your customer acquisition. So if you run ads and you want to get better ad results and scale your ads, check the link below apply to work with me and my team. Okay, so here we are in a live client ad account. And as you can see here, uh, we've spent $9,200 over a pretty long period of time. We've generated 614 purchases using an Advantage Plus shopping campaign. And it's all pretty automated, right? I'll get into the actual like campaign setup and the ads and everything. But you can see here, we've generated a 2.91 ROAS with this campaign type, a $15 cost per purchase, which is great considering our average order value is only $44. This is generating really great results for us uh, as far as new customer acquisition and the conversion rate at 8%, um, a really solid hook and hold rate for the ads and overall a solid campaign and solid results. And you can see here, these are the actual ads we were using. We we're able to plug in our top performing ads and give Facebook a ton of room to test all of these different top performing ads and figure out the top winners. And you can see here, it kind of congregated into a few ads that really worked out the best. And you can see here, these four are all above a uh, four or close to a four row as um, and are generating great results. Now, what exactly is a Advantage Plus shopping campaign based on what Facebook's saying? Now, Advantage Plus shopping campaign is part of Meta's Advantage Plus products, which leverage machine learning to help you reach more valuable audiences with less setup time and a greater efficiency. So essentially, it's Facebook trying to use their AI and their algorithm and get more control over the ads ultimately, just saying, hey, give us your creatives and tell us you want purchases and we're gonna go out and get those for you at the cheapest way possible. So it again, has its pros and cons. And I think the best way to do that is once you already have some winning ads and you have some uh, proven pixel data as far as a lot of purchases, that's when this campaign works out well. Other than that, you should start out using a normal campaign type and start to uh, actually bid on, you know, interests that are relevant and figure out what ads are actually going to work for your business before you start scaling with this campaign. But again, that's what this campaign is all about. So Advanced Plus Shopping Campaign is designed to be the most efficient solution for performance focused advertisers looking to drive online sales. So in comparison to a manual sales campaign, Advantage Plus requires fewer inputs during the creative process. Uh, so I'll show you exactly how that works, but it is a lot simpler a lot less inputs. So this removes the need to run many campaigns with various targeting and creative setup and gives our system more opportunities to reach people likely to purchase your product. So it's simple, it uses Facebook's AI and it does work again, once you have some data there, but it doesn't work every time, right? So Advantage Plus shopping campaigns let you streamline the, your, your performance goal, um, combine your prospecting existing customer audiences under one campaign to personalize your product catalog. It uses machine learning, it simplifies your campaign setup, you can test up to 150 creative combinations, which is pretty crazy. And then you can deliver your highest performing ad variations to the highest value shoppers. And here's an explanation of how to set that up, which I'm going to show you right now all about how to do this. So jumping into one of our other client accounts, uh, we're not currently running an Advantage Plus shopping campaign, but this is a client we actually would want to test this out for. And I would recommend, again, starting with a manual campaign, then testing Advantage Plus once you have some proven winning ads. So when it comes to creating this campaign in the ads manager here, you're going to want to click on plus, click on create right here. And then the only way you can run an advantage plus shopping campaign is using the sales campaign objective, right? So when I click on sales right here and I click on continue, you can see it's going to automatically select advantage plus shopping campaign as the default option. And so this is, uh, it's giving you this suggestion based on your ad account information, based on your in retail, 
you have a pixel set up and those are, I guess, the main qualifications. The manual sales campaign, again, is what I recommend starting out with. And that's where you're gonna have the traditional Facebook ad setup, selecting an audience, selecting that age range, and selecting all those parameters that essentially you want and you know is gonna convert for your business, right? So setting up advanced plus shopping, click on continue for that, right? And you're gonna notice there's only one, or there's only two levels. So you have the campaign level. So the campaign compromises essentially the campaign and ad set level. And then you have the ad level for this actual campaign. So uh, makes it a lot simpler, like I said. Uh, and so for the name right here, I'm just gonna leave that. And you can see all the preset settings right here. Uh, campaign objective is sales, dynamic creative is off. So you can turn that on or off. And then placements, you can't really control the placements. It's just advantage plus. So it means it's gonna be at all placements. It's gonna be on Instagram. It's gonna be on Facebook. WhatsApp, et cetera. Uh, and then you can change the age range as well, okay? So you can also categorize your ads if you have a specialty category. So when we go down here, uh, you have website and app, if that is the case for you. We just have website, so we're gonna select on website. We're gonna go maximize the number of conversions. If you wanna focus on value, you can do that, but we only have one product for this particular case, so we're gonna focus on maximizing the number of conversions. We have the pixel for Maestro DMX and the conversion event is purchase, okay? So we're gonna scroll down here and then you can target your specific location. So for us, let's say we wanna target Canada and the United States, then I'm gonna add both of those countries in there. Okay, so if you want to actually exclude locations, you have to do that uh, at a different level here. So no uh, location exclusions are set for this ad account. You have to set that at the ad account level, uh, which is a little bit different. Uh, so we have our locations included right there. Uh, you can go to audience controls right here and that's where you can actually exclude those locations. So if I open this up right here, Right, so we can see we have these audience controls. Uh, so my business can only advertise in specific locations. So you can turn that on and my business age restricted goods or service and you can turn that on as well if you want to. And then you also have placement controls. So you can turn this on and then you can actually change the placements that you want to advertise on a little bit here. So you can change some of those things around. Okay, coming back over to the setup right here. This is where you have your reporting here, which is going to change your engaged end defined where it's going to show reporting on your engaged audience and your existing customers. So when you define both of these, we have site visitors and then we just have purchasers, right? This is where in the reporting breakdown between your new audiences, engaged audiences and existing customers, it's gonna be able to show you that actually. And so it is pretty useful. And so I'd recommend again, going here and setting that up as well under your audience segments right here. And when you come here, essentially you go in and you create a custom audience which I have other videos on the channel about how to create a custom audience. And you want to go ahead and plug in your ex engaged audience, which I would just do website visitors, and then your existing customers, which you can just do purchasers from your pixel in the last 180 days, uh, or you can upload a customer list as well. And that is how to create your audience segments. So that's the next thing that you wanna do for that. Then you can scroll down and this is where you're setting your daily budget. So again, how I would treat this campaign is a scaling campaign. So once you've already gotten a campaign working, this is the campaign that you want to really scale. So whether that means starting at $100 a day and seeing how that goes, and then increasing that over time if you're seeing good results, right? Start out with a budget that you're okay to test and figure out what the return is, and then go from there and continue to scale that up. So again, if that's $100 for you, that's $1,000 for you, set that budget that you think is good. And you can do an existing customer budget cap. So set a maximum budget percentage to spend on your existing customers will likely spend less than the percentage you've set, but will aim to spend no more. So this is why Advantage Plus is such a great campaign because you've never had the option to remove customers before except, except doing exclusions. Um, but this actually gives you a really cool way to just control a percentage that you wanna actually show to existing customers. And in this case, you can actually just do zero, right? So we're gonna aim to spend no more than $0 on your existing customers, right? If you wanted to do 1%, they would spend $1 on your existing customers. So in this case, I'm actually going to do zero and we're going to completely reach new customers. For this business, we only wanna be getting new customers. And so it's a really great option here once you've defined your existing customers to only reach new customers and new acquisitions for your business. So again, when you're scaling, this campaign becomes so much more effective because of this setting right here. So we've defined that. If we keep going right here, we have budget scheduling. So increase your budget during specific time periods. I usually don't do that, um, so that's fine. And you're gonna notice here that that's pretty much it for audience settings. So it doesn't give you a lot of room here. What it's going to rely on is your past data. What types of customers buy from you traditionally? What are their interests? You need some data here for Facebook to kind of get an idea. 
Otherwise, if you're just turning this on, it's essentially using broad targeting and just trying to find customers um, without much data to work from, right? So uh, when it comes to the ads available right here, you have a couple options of, you can either import ads or you can create an Advantage Plus catalog ad and you can import all, you know, again, those winning ads. So that's why I say you want to use winning ads uh, and you wanna already have a manual campaign with ads that have performed well, because then you can import all of these ads essentially. So once you've imported those ads, you can see I have three ads imported and these are my top ads that have the most engagements, the most purchases, the most results in general that Facebook knows are going to work well, right? And that's again, where this campaign really shines. So um, we have these imported. And then if you want to create other ads, you can do that at the ad level by duplicating existing ads. And so if we go next right here, then you can see this is where we can then select the page. Okay, and from here, since I've imported those, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and publish this campaign. Okay, so in this case, I had some issues actually importing these ads. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, it says they imported, but looks like there's an error. So what you can do is you can find these top ads and you can actually grab the post ID and then you can add that into here to actually get that ad to use in Advantage Plus. So if I go back out here and I go to this campaign right here and I go to this actual ad right here. Okay. And then I go to use existing post. And then you can see I have the post ID right here. And this is a very popular ad that we've been running. That's done very well. And then I'm going to go back to this advantage plus campaign and I'm going to go to here and then I'm going to enter in this post ID. And then you can see we have now imported this actual ad right here that we know performs very well. And then let's say I want to name this ad actually just winning ad one, right? And then what we could do is we could duplicate that and we could name this one winning ad two. Okay, and then we could grab, you know, another post ID of a, a campaign that's working well. And we could use this as well. So let's say we wanna grab this one, right? And let's say if I go to use existing post right here, okay, it's gonna give me the post ID right here. Okay, and I am going to go back to here and I'm going to do this winning ad two enter in this post ID, and I have my other winning ad right here as well now. So you can see that's how I'd stack up those audiences and grab all of your top winning ads. And then you wanna just enable this campaign just like that. And that is how you set up an Advantage Plus shopping campaign. So go ahead and publish this and boom, now you can see we have Advantage Plus shopping campaign. We have it set up right here, right? All the settings are there. And then we have our top ads in this campaign. Sometimes you just need to hit a refresh quick and you can see we have our top ads in there and that's going to start running and that's going to start generating us sales on demand. So that is how an Advantage Plus shopping campaign works. That is when you should use it, showing you some results of what an Advantage Plus shopping campaign can do and exactly step-by-step -step how to go about setting that up. So I hope you found this video valuable. If you did, make sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about meta ads and the best practices around running ads on Google ads and meta and more. And if you currently run ads on meta or Google, and you want help growing and scaling your ads, check the link in the description, apply to work with me and my team. We'd be happy to jump on a call to see if we're a good fit to work together. All right, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.